All right, guys. Welcome back to my channel, uh, Dev Astrology Nine. Today we are going to be talking about something major, which is going to be happening in the next few days. So, Rahu is going to be transiting into Pisces. It is currently in its Aries sign, and Ketu is going to be transiting into Virgo. It is currently sitting at Libra. Now, this is. Once in 18 months that you see such a major shift happening, Rahu and Ketu, they are um, of course in an axis always moving in retrograde and it takes 18 years for these two planets to complete an orbit around the entire chart. Now this is a special um, case coming into picture with this transit because all of the signs will be impacted one way or the other. But we see that there have been some major transits uh, in the last few months and I'm going to touch base upon each of those transits in some of the subsequent videos that I'll be putting up on the channel. But the key impact of Rahu and Ketu is going to come into play for all of us because both of these shadow planets combined, they impact not less than six to eight of your houses where they're moving, right? So it's a big deal. Um, as you can see that uh, Saturn is already in retrograde, uh, so is Jupiter coming in the next few days. And this transit of Rahu and Ketu is going to come into effect from the 30th of October 2023. Now before we jump into the impact that will come into play from that date onwards, a lot of Sayers astrologers do comment that some of the effects of these two planets start taking into effect anywhere between you know 30 to 60 days in advance so i think this is the right time for us to deep dive and figure out what are going to be the changes that you're going to see respective to your zodiac but before we dive in i have a special announcement to make i have a new youtube channel in place and i know i've not been very regular but i'm trying to keep up uh, to speed to bring more and more content to you I would like to announce that I would be doing free of cost readings to my subscribers um, about three readings a week. So if you like the content that I'm putting up, uh, I will appreciate if you could please like, comment and subscribe on my channel. And based on that, you can reach out to me, DM me, message me uh, either on YouTube or on Instagram where I have the same channel with the same name. And you can reach out to me for consultation, which will be provided free of cost to you. Uh, mind you, because it is free of cost, it will be limited for 15 to 20 minutes. And I will try to take up one or two questions that are of key importance to you. So without further ado, let's jump into each of the signs and talk about uh, what's in store for you. As you guys can see on the left side of the screen, uh, we have the current transit chart in place for you guys. Um, Jupiter and Rahu sit together in your fifth house uh, in the sign of Aries and um, for the last few months since these two have been together the Guru Chandal Yoga has come into play and as I've been telling in most of my videos as well it has not been one of the best uh, periods for most of the signs uh, because of this yoga that came into play since April. Uh, what it has done is that since uh, Jupiter joined uh, Rahu, Rahu has been diminishing the impact that Jupiter could come into play. And, um, you know, it's one of the one of the uh, good uh, houses for Jupiter to be in. Uh, Jupiter in the fifth house is uh, for the Kal Purush Kundli. It's the sign of, uh, it's the house of Sun, uh, sign of Leo. And, uh, you know, uh, if you see uh, Jupiter directly aspects its own uh, house of the Kal Purush Kundli, which is the ninth house uh, but none of those impacts have been able to be delivered by Jupiter thanks to the shadow of uh, Rahu in place and diagonally opposite to it is we have Ketu sitting in uh, your 11th house uh, uh, in the sign of Libra now what you see on your screen here is that um, the three um, red stars that we have on the screen are the three aspects of Rahu into these signs and uh, the three triangles in black are the aspects of Ketu in, into these houses. So I wouldn't call this to be a very bad period that you guys have been uh, uh, you know going through for the last uh, few months because uh, you know most of the planets uh, if aspecting and especially if uh, you know sitting in the 11th house 
uh, they tend to give a very positive result, uh, especially from any kind of uh, incomes, uh, you know, fulfillment of desires and goals and ambitions that you have in place. So uh, I, I believe that you guys would have had mixed results because um, uh, what would have happened is that you would have worked hard in the last few months to make gains, to create avenues for yourself where you could do better financially, uh, open more doors for yourself, uh, create new opportunities by yourself and uh, you would have striven hard because uh, you know Rahu sitting in the fifth house has also enhanced on your creativity it would have enhanced um, uh, you know your thinking and your uh, your own mind uh, as it aspects your uh, first house to dream big so uh, this would have been the period where um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you would have had this illusion that you can uh, achieve um, 120 150 percent of uh, you know what you would have thought or planned of uh, but the problem is that uh, you know Rahu tends to push your limits it tends to give you this illusion that uh, you can do the impossible and sometimes it's great to have uh, however often it, it creates certain ripples and challenges as well um, on the other side, you have Ketu, uh, which has been aspecting your seventh house with its ninth aspect. So the domestic affairs or the partnerships, your relationships, love relationships, your um, connect with your spouse hasn't been that great. Uh, it would have been uh, facing certain turmoil. Um, if you've uh, faced um, you know, certain challenges in terms of quality time or even communication uh, with your kids, uh, you would have faced that trouble. Some of you would have faced challenges uh, in trying to conceive if that's uh, what the plan was. And um, hopefully some of these ill effects will come to a hold as we see a transition happening um, from the October of 30th. <clears throat> and uh, this effect is coming into play uh, from October 30th, 2023. But I keep uh, calling this out that most astrologers uh, believe that uh, you know, these two shadow planets, they start showing their effects, uh, you know, about 30 to 60 days in advance. So you would see certain changes in the dynamics um, right from the month of September when you will see an impact uh, to your life. And what, what sort of an impact we're talking about? If you see on the right side of your screen, uh, the axis has changed uh, from 4 to 10, uh, where Rahu is sitting in your 4th house and Ketu is sitting in your 10th house. Now, uh, I can confidently tell you guys one thing, Sajis. If you're looking for a change in your job, if you're looking for a change uh, in your business, expanding the lines of business, expanding product portfolios, doing a role change within your same organization or picking up a new job role in itself, some of those changes are uh, going to be very conducive in these 18 to 20 months that follow. So uh, especially in the first half of this, uh, uh, of this transit, uh, which I would say is starting from, uh, you know, the month of September 2023 to next October uh, of 2024. Uh, if you have any plans to make that shift happen, please, please, please go ahead and, um, you know, uh, accomplish that because uh, it should turn out fruitful for you. And the fact of the matter is that you're going to have luck your side as well because now Jupiter is sitting alone. In fact, it's going to get in retrograde in the next um, uh, few days. So you will have more positive impact Jupiter is going to get more powerful in this space uh, and given the fact it is sitting in its friendly sign uh, of Mars uh, in Aries. So uh, luck will be on your side and it will provide you that impetus. It will provide you that push to do better at your workplace as well. Now, uh, this is not, uh, you know, one of those uh, bad access for Rahu and Ketu. So even Rahu expecting your 10th house will provide you that street smartness. Um, it will make you clever to make sure that you're making the right decisions when it comes to your work front to what you want to accomplish. But at the same time, uh, guys, you will also see an increase in your um, expenses. You might uh, see connections from a foreign land coming into play or, you know, when we say foreign land, it de definitely uh, not just means uh, a different country. It would also mean people from a different culture, from a different religion, from a different place to where were you born or even different place from where you are having karma. So if you're living in San Francisco, you might establish, connect with somebody living in New York. 
um, if you are in Mumbai, you might start collaborating with someone from Srinagar or Calcutta. So uh, you have to think on those lines uh, and, and not just uh, confine this to, uh, you know, uh, foreign, foreign uh, countries, so to speak. Uh, at the same time, what you would notice is that from Ketu's perspective, uh, there will be certain challenges uh, that come into your second house. So you might feel a bit distance from your family. Um, uh, you might end up eating frozen stale food. You're not getting access to. Um, maybe if you're not staying together with your family, you might have to cook for yourself and things like that, right? So you'll have to you'll have to decipher some of what I tell you uh, based on what's happening in your own life. But I think uh, uh, you are going to see some of those challenges coming into play. With Rahu sitting in the fourth house and then Ketu also aspecting that, there is going to be a definite expansion in what you're going to do at your home front. If you guys are planning to buy a new property, get a new car, vehicle, motorcycle, you know, any electronics items and stuff, expect expensive electronic items, I mean, uh, you know, your smartphones, your, um, uh, your laptops and stuff, uh, go ahead, do that because you you're gonna you bound to do it, and uh, at the same time, for some of uh, my Saji friends, I also expect that there could be a change in residence for you guys. You might, uh, you know, if you are picking up a new job, it could be in a different city. Um, you might be within the same organization, but you might pick up a different role, and it's in a different city. You have to take a transfer for that. So think on those lines, see what's happening in your chart, what's happening in your life and try to see that how you can make best use of it. So something uh, if uh, related to work front is coming your way, I recommend that take that up. Uh, think about it. Uh, don't make a rushed decision, but uh, I'm confident with Jupiter uh, uh, now not impacted by Rahu getting in retrograde. Uh, in fact, the next four to five months could be hyper critical for uh, for you guys to take any 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 call with respect to your job front itself. The only caution I would want to throw to you guys is uh, be uh, careful about your health. Uh, we're talking about some expenses as well and uh, savings not coming into play. So uh, don't go overboard in terms of taking loans or uh, you know facing any health issues and having expenses with regards to that. Uh, you might want to check the strength of your Venus in your native chart and how your sixth house is placed otherwise uh, in your natal chart itself. But I think that is one of the most critical things that you'll have to take a note as to what works for you and what not. All right, guys. So thank you for sticking this far and watching this video. If you find this video beneficial, please, please, please like that button and um, you know drop your comments. Uh, and I will be you know happy to provide free readings, as I said, free of course to my audience. Uh, if it adds value to your life. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.